Hey friends, and welcome back to another tarot pick a card. Today we're talking about financial freedom and what might be blocking you from achieving your goals. So I want to give a shout out to Annette and Jennifer and Sandra and Dion. All of these lovely people have asked me for this reading and I am very happy to be able to bring it to you today. So I have four piles because four is a very grounding number. It's all about foundations. There's four points in the compass, four seasons, four elements. And then I've got all of my green crystals that I could fit at the top of my screen because, you know, green is it's the color of money. Oh, I'm in Canada. It's not really the color of money, but it's the color of money. Um, it is luck. It is abundance. So lots of good vibes going on here. We have tarot and oracle cards in these piles. And let's get started with this reading. So to start, I want you to ask yourself, what is blocking me from achieving financial freedom? Okay, I'm going to take three deep mindful breaths to align yourself with this question. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. One more in. And out. As you open your eyes, listen to your intuition. Which pile is calling for you? This is pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. Now I do want to take this time to remind you that this is a general reading. The messages may not resonate with everyone, and that is perfectly okay. If you want a private reading, then head on over to my website, which will be listed in the description box below. Sign up for my newsletter, and you will be the first to be notified when listings for private readings go up. Okay, let's get started with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. Let's start with your tarot cards. So we have the Two of Stones, the Knight of Arrows, the Pole Star, Ace of Vessels, and the Seven of Vessels. Okay. So right smack dab in the middle, you've got your Pole Star. So you guys have big dreams. You have big dreams about financial goals that you want to achieve. Uh, perhaps you're an entrepreneur, perhaps um, you have a business of your own, or you're just um, wanting to get far in the, in the career that you are currently working in. Either way, you've got big dreams, and financial freedom is in the cards for you with these dreams. It's just, let's figure out what's holding you back, because clearly you're here for a reason. So... We have the Knight of Arrows, which is a hawk. And I mean, hawks can see. They've got some amazing eyesight. They are amazingly quick birds. Um, you know, they just, they go after their dreams and they, um, you know, they just, they just go for it. They spot an opportunity and they go for it. They're ambitious. Um, they're action oriented. Okay. So I see this as you and you've, you know, you've got your eyes set on here, but with the Ace of Vessels here, I see that this journey that you're on is probably something, something that's new, or you've got a new spark of inspiration. The Ace of Vessels is about, um, it's about a new beginning. So while you in yourself are very action oriented, you're always set to, you know, take on a new challenge to pick up a new, new goal right now. Whatever this opportunity is that you're feeling is going to bring you this financial freedom is only in the beginning stages. Okay. And these cards are actually bordered by your blockage. So we have the two of stones, which is chalice, and the seven of vessels, which is mourning. So which one should we go for first? Let's go with the 
seven of vessels. So I'm seeing this as you've had lots of opportunities for you in the past, but they may have missed their mark or they didn't go through or they just they lived up to their potential and fizzled away. Um, and then we've got the two of stones, which is a challenge. So you're choosing between two things. And what I'm feeling is that both of these things are feeling right in their own way. And you're really having a hard time figuring it out um, as to which path you want to go down. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that you are being, how would I want to word this? Your actions are being determined by your past. You're fearful. I think you know which direction you need to take, but you're fearful that if you follow your heart, that it's not going to end up very well. You're afraid that you're going to be back at this stage. But I want you to learn from a hawk, okay? Hawks do not have a 100% success rate. I don't think there's anything in this world that has a 100% success rate, right? Hawks try. If they fail, they just get up to greater heights. They look around. They find the next prey item. They go after it, okay? They don't see the missed opportunity as a loss. They just see it as a learning opportunity, an opportunity to get better. And I feel like that, that is where you're blocked. Instead of learning from these past experiences, I'm not even going to call them mistakes, past experiences, you are living in the past and you're not letting yourself move forward. And you're always going to be in the beginning stages if you can't make the decision to move forward. And if we're stuck here, this is where we're always going to be stuck. Okay. And then our oracle cards, we have breathe and we have release. Yes, these are very important words for you guys today. You need to take a deep breath and let go of this. We need to let go of what you're seeing as a mistake, but what is really just a learning experience. We need to move forward. Um, you guys, once you... <laughs> Once you make this decision and you go for it and you put your energy into it without worrying about the what ifs, without comparing it to past events, you're going to, you're going to soar. You're going to like, things are going to happen. They're going to move so quickly, but we have to get out of this energy because this energy is what is holding you back. Okay. And then we have a card from Money and the Law of Attraction, teachings from Abraham Hicks. And this card says, welcome to planet Earth. You are here to seek joy. If we were talking to you on your first day here, we would say, welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. And your work here, your lifetime career is to seek joy. As you think thoughts that feel good to you, you will be in harmony with who you really are. And in doing so, you will utilize your profound freedom. Seek joy first, and all of the growth that, could, that you could ever imagine will come joyously and abundantly unto you. Yeah, okay, perfect guys, right? We need to let go of this and just step into this energy of joy. We need to release what is no longer serving us and just take some deep breaths and go for it, okay? You guys can soar high, okay? This card, this Ace of Vessels, says the waters of life. And that's what you need to embrace right now. The waters of life, the joy of life, okay? So group number one, financial freedom is on its way. But you got to get over the fact that your past is the past and it's no longer serving you, okay? If you enjoyed this reading, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of my YouTube family. Love, light, and happiness to you all. Have a fantastic day. Hello, group number two. We're going to start with your tarot cards to find out what is blocking you from achieving financial freedom. 
So we're starting with the Four of Arrows, then we have the King of Stones, the Page of Arrows, Seven of Arrows, and the Seer. Okay, first of all, you guys, we need to get out of our heads. <laughs> there is a lot of insecurity going on in these cards. Um, but you have, you have it within you. You know, you've got this King of Stones here, which is, it's, it's financial freedom. This card is financial freedom. So it's there. But look at this. We've got rest. We've got insecurity. Uh, this is, this is transformation. This card is transformation. The seer is all about transformation. So you guys have a lot of work that you got to do. And it's all within your head because you I have a feeling that you can finish this sentence. Money is the root of all. You know what it is, right? Comment down below. What is that sentence, right? You guys know what it is. And that's what's holding you back. You are being held back by your limiting beliefs as to what it is you want to achieve in this world. You're like, well, I really want to do this, but... We need to stop with the butts, okay? No one is going to judge you for being successful. No one is going to judge you for going after their dream, after your dreams. And if they do judge you, it is only your perception of them judging you. Someone else's opinions doesn't matter. Someone else's opinions does not affect who you are as a person, okay? You guys, you guys can move forward. Look, we've got rest transform into this butterfly we've got the snow melting becoming spring that there's a lot of transition going on and you guys are capable of reaching your dreams but you are the story you guys are telling yourselves is not serving you at all we need to um pages are all about new beginnings right and we've got the transformation here we've got the page here and you've got the seer you see the other side of this equation but you are holding yourself back these insecurities are holding you back from becoming the king of stones from becoming this successful person with the financial freedom to live your best life you see the the way that you can get there but these limiting beliefs are what is holding you back so we really need to get out of our head we need to deal with these stories that we have been telling ourselves and just we need to trust ourselves that we are worthy of money for one thing money is only energy okay money is neither good nor bad it is energy it is a tool to help us move forward and to do what we want to do in this world to be able to help others to be able to help ourselves it is simply a tool okay it is not inherently good or bad so we need to let go of that limiting belief okay let's see milky way perspective i'm going to put that over here with the seer because again you know the way but it's just your perspective is wrong right or it's not wrong i shouldn't say that your that's my that's my judgment <laughs> your perspective is skewed um you might believe these stories that you're telling yourself but they're not serving you okay childhood innocence and again this speaks really with the page of arrows. And I'm going to take that as confirmation that yes, it does. Sorry, I'm going to turn my phone on silent now. Um, you're, you're playing a very innocent card. You're, you, you, um, you're playing the innocence card. You're like, oh, I don't really know what to do. I don't... But you do know what to do. You, your perspective... Your, your eyes are open to the ways of the world. You know how things work, but you're letting these past stories dictate your life and you're just claiming innocence of it. But you, you know, you know that money isn't bad. You know that money can help you. It can help so many people. And so you need to not, we need to not be afraid of it. Okay. So then I have this card, which is from Money and the Law of Attraction. It's based on the teachings of Abraham Hicks. It says, I am a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. You live in a pulsating, vibrating universe of advanced harmonies. Everything that exists 
in your air, in your dirt, in your water, and in your bodies is in vibration, is vibration in motion, and all of it is managed by the powerful law of attraction. There is nothing that exists outside of this vibrational nature, and as you learn to accept your vibrational nature and begin to con consciously utilize your emotional vibrational indicators, you will gain conscious control of your personal creations and the outcomes of the life of your life experience. Yeah. Um, money is just a vibrational energy which we can um, bring into our lives if we are in the vibration of money. But right now you guys are in the vibration of lack. You're in you're resisting that from coming into your life. But with a simple shift of perspective and embracing joy and harmony, you can get out of the struggle that's holding you back and begin a whole new journey. Financial freedom is around the corner and it all it takes is a little mindset shift. So, you know, express gratitude for everything you've got today. Um, express love and joy for, you know, Having an internet connection and being able to watch this, right? Um, whether you're watching, if, if you're watching this on a cell phone, be grateful for the cell phone you have. Um, if you're watching this on a computer at a library, be grateful that you live in a place that has a library that you can access this computer. Be grateful for every little thing and begin to see money as just a helpful tool that is helping you on this journey. It's not holding you back. It's not evil. Move out of that negative thinking move towards prosperity and abundance thinking, okay? So that's what I have for you, group number two. If you liked this reading, please subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell. That way you will always be updated when I post a new video. Love, light, and happiness to you all. Have a fantastic day. Hello, group number three. We are going to start with your tarot cards for figuring out what kind of blocks are preventing you from reaching your financial freedom. So we're starting with the four of vessels. We have the nine of bows, eight of arrows, the blasted oak in reverse, and the three of vessels, joy. Okay, group number three. So let's start with the elephant in the room, the blasted oak, otherwise known as the tower card. But this came out in reverse, so this isn't catastrophic. <laughs> um, the tower card is basically speaking of big change, big changes that are coming. And with this being in reverse, I'm seeing this as a change that you are very willingly Put going through. You have shaken your tower and let things come down because you know that new things are coming. Um, we have the Eight of Arrows, which is about struggle, and we have the Four of Vessels, which is about boredom. So actually, I'm going to change the order of these cards just to help the reading go a little smoother here for you guys. So I feel like we're watching a progress here. This is the energy that you guys were in, but I'm feeling like you're here. You're currently in this blasted oak phase. But you guys have been feeling a lot of boredom, a lot of struggles around your finances recently. Whether your job has not been fulfilling you and you want to seek um, a different kind of employment to not only better your finances, but just have a better time in general. And then with this eight of arrows, again, You've been struggling whether this is finding a new career that's fulfilling you or if you just jumped in head first, maybe you, you've been struggling a little bit with, you know, figuring out where the finances are going to come from during this transition period. But I feel like you're in this transition period now. You are letting go of this past and we're moving into this present. And with this nine of bows, it's the card of respect. And I feel like... What is blocking you is just, it's the way that you talk to yourself. It's your self-respect. It's that little voice in your head that's nagging at you. And so you need to take a pause and you need to acquaint yourself with that little voice. You need to say hello. 
You don't need to say it out loud, but you need to say hello and you need to say these thoughts are no longer serving me. I have high dreams, high hopes, high aspirations, and I am going to reach those goals. And this negative self-talk that's in my head is no longer going is no longer serving me. I choose to move forward and I choose to embrace the joy and the happiness. Okay. Um I feel like this reading is very straightforward, guys. Like you just you guys are in this transition. You're moving there. You're moving towards financial freedom. You already know what your block is. And I just, I want to encourage you to keep going because you are on the right path, okay? The only thing I'm seeing that's holding you back is just that little voice in your head. You just need to be a little bit more respectful of the words that you choose to use to yourself. Be your own language police, right? When you, when you hear yourself saying, I can't do something, change it. Abraham Hicks says we have 17 seconds to change it. So if you're saying, I, I can't uh, make that bill payment, you're like, yes, I can. I can make it. I will make it work. I will get creative. I will find a way. Okay? 17 seconds, change that mindset, and the rewards will come flooding into your life. Okay? So we have new moon, promise. Yes, it's, it's all about new beginnings. Okay? And then we have fog, which is a veil. Right, so when, when you have a, when you, when it's really foggy out, it's hard to see what's in front of you, right? And I feel like you might be feeling this veil right now because you are still in this tower phase, this tower energy. But once this, once this veil is lifted, once the fog has lifted, then opportunities are endless for you guys, okay? <laughs> um, I almost needed this card for the last group because I actually said this quote in group number two. Um, okay, so group number three, this is a affirmation card from Money and the Law of Attraction. This is based on teachings of Abraham Hicks. And your card says, money is not the root of evil or of happiness. This is an important subject of money. This important subject of money and financial success is not the root of all evil. As many have quoted, nor is it the path to happiness. So when you're able to successfully control something like the subject of money that affects most of you all day, every day, you have accomplished something rather significant. For not only is it certain that your financial success must improve, but evidence of that success will then prepare you to de deliberate improvements to, for deliberate improvement in every aspe aspect of your life experience. Yeah, I had a hard time reading that. <laughs> Let me try that last sentence again. Um, for not only is it certain that your financial success must improve, but the evidence of that success will then prepare you for deliberate improvement in every aspect of your life experience. Which I think this is really to once you start getting out of this fog it'll just it'll just keep going it'll just be clearer and clearer and clearer and the more positive changes you make the more positive changes you will see and it'll just snowball and keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger these promises will be fulfilled this this joy this celebration will come to you we just have to work with this little voice in our head that's giving you a little bit of a hard time and just embrace knowing that you can achieve what you want to achieve. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Group number three. I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Love, light, and happiness to you all. Hello, group number four. We're going to start with your tarot cards to figure out what is blocking you from reaching financial freedom. So we're starting with the card of balance and then the page of bows, the king of arrows, the page of vessels, and the nine of arrows, a dedication. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So you guys are really excited about something. Whatever it is that um, 
you're believing is going to bring you this financial freedom. You guys are so excited about it. You have a lot of playful, giddy energy towards whatever your dream is. Um, and I'm feeling like what might be blocking you is your lack of dedication to the actual work involved. Um, with this King of Arrows, you know what you have to do, but you're getting so excited and you're, you're maybe doing more talk than action about what it is you want to achieve. So what we need to start doing is we need to start balancing out um, the thoughts, the creativity, and taking action, some aligned action to reach our goals. We need to set some dedicated work time. Um, whether this is you know, writing a business plan, whether this is actually taking action and going out, meeting people, meet, you know, making new connections with people, um, whether it's creating content, whether it's creating click funnels, whether, you know, whatever you need to do to actually launch this project, we got to start taking action. You need to be dedicated to the steps that will help you move forward. You guys, you guys have a lot of energy and a lot of excitement around this project, but we need to balance out that energy with action. Okay. Um, with this, um, king of arrows here this card is um like kings are always like they're they're natural born leaders they're visionaries um being an arrow it's actually you know it's um it's an entrepreneurial spirit which i'm really i'm really getting from you guys um and then we have the page of bows and the page of vessels so again Lots of excited energy towards this, um, but we need, and this is, <laughs> it, it's interesting that you pulled bows and, and vessels because this is kind of like emotional energy and this is kind of like a take action kind of energy. And with this balance, like we really need to um, balance the, the excitement and the work ethic and just, just be dedicated to the actions you need to take. I feel like you really need to get a piece of paper or, um, you know, a, a note, a note, um, thing on your phone. Like if you've got the note app or on your computer, like open up a Google document or something and start writing out steps that you need to take. Um, maybe you can even get like a time management program, like say Asana, I think is, is one of them and actually start like blocking out projects that you need to do. Take steps and follow through with those steps because things are coming. You've got the energy, you've got the passion. You just got to balance everything out. You're kind of, you're kind of scattered right now. And once you can, once you can harness that energy and put it in the right direction, things are coming. Okay. Let's see. What do your Oracle cards have to say? <laughs> focus. Yeah. You need to focus on what is going to actually get you the results that you want. And then we have Dawn, new beginnings. Yeah, see things things are coming. You guys have a lot of a lot of positive energy around you, but we need to put our focus um where <laughs> where energy where focus goes, energy flows, right? We need to put our focus and our energy into the the actions that we need to take to reach this goal. Um, actually, sorry, I missed a part of that. Where focus goes, energy flows, and results show. That's the full quote. <laughs> um, results will show, but we need to direct this energy. We need to harness it and make sure it is going in the right direction. And now we have a card from Money and the Law of Attraction. This is based on the teachings of Abraham Hicks. And your card says, I can give my attention to the positive aspects. Things are coming into your experience in response to your vibration. Your vibration is offered because of the thoughts you are thinking. And you can tell by the way you feel what kind of thoughts you are thinking. 
find good feeling thoughts and good feeling manifestations must follow. Make a decision to look for the best feeling aspects of whatever you must give your attention to and otherwise look only for feeling good feeling things to give your attention to. Hold on. Let me, let me try that again. Make a decision to look for the best feeling aspects of whatever you must give your attention to and otherwise look for good feeling things to give your attention to and your life will become one of increasingly good feeling aspects. All right. Um, so yeah, we need, to, we need to figure out what we need to give our attention to is what I'm getting from this card. You guys, you guys have a lot of energy. I'm feeling like you guys are very like high vibe right now. You're feeling really good in this situation, but you need to focus your energy onto something, onto actions, um, and onto aligned actions that are going to allow you to reach your financial goals. Okay, group number four, that's your reading for today. I hope you found it helpful. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. I really appreciate each and every single one of my subscribers. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Love, light, and happiness to you all.